皆さん、Welcome. Welcome. It's time for more Stardew. Did anyone have any doubts? Did anyone? It's just a little loud. It's just a little. It's always a little loud. There we go. We're back with more farming. But this time. Yeah, this time it's a little different. You might notice it's a little different. Right? But the reason for that is because um, I am traveling. I'm traveling at the moment. And so you may notice things like me you know, not really interacting much with the chat, etc. And that would be because this is not me right now. But it was me. <laughs> it was me. And we're going to play Stardew together. So my. My hope here is that、uh, we can just enjoy Stardew together in like a relaxed environment,、um, regardless of, of the time.、Um, and just know that. Ah. Just know that you can relax and chill here. And we're still playing Stardew. We're still playing it. I want you guys to see my adventures. I want them to continue for you guys. But, you know, Mori is also. Believe it or not, I recognize that I also need to take a break every once in a while, too. So I figured、um, instead of waiting on the Stardew Saga、um, while I'm gone, we could just play some anyway. Oh gosh, the brim of my hat. Wow, that was mysterious. I'll never let that happen again, I promise. My immersion. <laughs> Don't worry. So, are we gonna play? Time for Deadbeat Farm to 17 hours. I can't wait for it to say 100. Or even more. Those are rookie numbers. Even 100 is just. Rookie numbers, Deadbeats. That's nothing compared to what we can do. Together. Let's go. It's fall. Wow, I've been playing my personal account so much that it kinda. Wow. Drew me through a loop seeing nobody in the house. <laughs> Thanks for all the bones. I've got a lot to sort through here. To think each fragment belongs to a living, breathing body from the past. Fascinating. Yeah, my deadbeats. <laughs> They belong to my deadbeats, and I stole them from them, and I feel bad about it. Please accept this unique crafting recipe as a thank you. Bone Mill. What is that? Is that an actual thing we can use? Oh! Turns bone items into fertilizers. Yeah. So that's kind of interesting. I kind of want to make that. That's cool. Eh, I don't think we have. I don't think I've, I've never had anything like that, nor have I ever gotten anything like that. Before, my pumpkins are ready.、Um, in my past iterations of playing the game, so let's go. You know, we're not really poor anymore, Deadbeats. That's exciting, right? Hmm. Also, sorry if I'm a little low energy, a little more on the low energy side today. But that's okay, because it's, it's Stardew, you know? It's just relaxing fun together, right? Bum, 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 bum. Do, da, da. Do, do, da, da. Also, I'll probably still be in the chat. <laughs> I'll probably still be in the chat saying hello.、Hmm. I wonder what future Mori is up to. She better be relaxing. Stay calm, stay calm. I wonder if we'll get to winter today. I mean, we might. It's the 14th, so that's why I changed to my, my yukata. And then when it gets to be winter, we just pretend it's a kimono. Apparently, they can be very warm. Or so they say. <gasps> the goat cheese. Yeah, we can put that. <gasps> I just realized we can put that into the bundle. See, not all is lost. Not all is lost. And look at that. We're getting big milkies now. That's big. That is big indeed. You know, I can kind of see myself farming out in this yukata as well. It's got the vibe, you know? The chill, wintry vibe. Okay, we got 10 pumpkins. So we must be pretty close. Did we complete Pierre's thing? 
We must have completed it, right? No, I feel like we would have got a, gotten a da -da 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 or something. Nope, we got it. We just have to place them in his box. Okay. Can do. Ugh, this hurts me. This is really painful for me to do. <sighs> Deadbeats, surely you feel my pain as well, right? How much this hurts. <sighs> Yo, but the pickled pumpkins are gonna be really great. Now let's go get more seeds. Thank goodness it's not a Wednesday. I'd probably hit my head through the windshield, even though there's no windshield to be seen. What is she talking about? The things that she's saying don't make any sense. Oh, wow, this game sure is beautiful during fall. Oh, yeah. Pumpkin seeds. All right, here we go. Are you guys ready for this? Let's save 16, 32. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 8, 9, 20. Ah, I can see the numbers there <laughs> on the screen. Okay. I'm not, I'm not dumb. I'm not dumb. Watching, wait, oh, it's, wait, no, that's the lost and found. No, his produce box, I'm not stupid. Where, hold on. Place the crops in the empty produce box in Pierre's shop. Empty produce box. Empty produce box. No. Oh, this must be it. Okay, it's not the lost and found. I'm a dummy. People in chat are definitely screaming at me. It's fine. Oh, nice. Is that it? I think that's the reward, but he'll give me something else. So I'm just gonna... Because, you know, all those pipple, pickle, pipple, pip, pip, ah, pickled pumpkins. They could have sold for a lot, Pierre. A lot. But now you... Now you're gonna sell my produce for a marked up price. All right. No, it's cool. Whatever. He's a shyster. There is something ain't right about that guy. I can never trust him again. I don't even think I can date your daughter anymore. I'm sorry, Pierre, but there's something shifty about you. <sighs> Fall enough. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. It's fine. We replanted them. It's fine. And hey, now I have something, another artisan good to donate. But then I also really, I want to make that bone mill. So how about we go slay some more skeletons? Does that sound like a good idea? Maybe we'll find some more geodes to crack open. I don't know. But I'm not going to put all my stuff away in the chest because I'm just going to forget it again. You know that's what's going to happen. Hmm. 70. Frank. Let's battle. I'm ready to battle the deadbeats. It's okay, I think they like it a little bit. Oh, wow. Just give me coal. I've been naughty. Coal for naughty Mori. Down you go, deadbeat. Down you go. Try to give him the deadbeat down. No, just give me the bones. Thank you. All right. One more for this floor. It's like the game knows. But I still only got three pieces. That was not nearly enough for the amount of beats that we hit. Oh well. Hey, fight me in the pit. Fight me behind the family mark. Deadbeat? Okay, hold on. Let me at him. I can't believe they weren't waving their fists at me. They were throwing bones at me. That's what it was the whole time. Do 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 da da. Do do da da. Hey, more amethyst for my wife. 
Okay, maybe not my wife yet, but she said she she wanted to show me something. What could that mean, Deadbeats? What did she mean by that? I want to know. But hold my hand. Come with me. I'm scared. I don't want to go alone to Abigail's house after 8 p.m. That seems... That seems sketchy. You guys gotta come with me. Please. Dun, dun, dun. Da, da. Bats. Bats. Man, I wish my bats did some work. My bats suck. They don't get me anything. No cool fruit. I have to do it all myself. Kind of miss the mushrooms, to be honest. I'll say that, but what if they give me like a pomegranate or something, or like an apricot? Bats are maybe... I bet they're the, the speedrun strat. Higher chance of getting those artisan goods for the artisan bundle, you know? Come on, where's the stairwell? Let me guess. Frank? No. Really very unlucky. Oh, so it can be next to the wall. Hey, that's good to know. Pretty random, huh? This particular seed is kind of snaky. I'll take some iron. Oh, nice. Where are the bones at? Amethyst. Yeah. This game knows who my girlfriend is. Okay. Hoi, 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 hoi. Oh, yay. Ah, I see. I see. No throwing bones at me. Dang it. I wish I wish I turned around better. I'm so slow. Really not a great yield for bones today. They're not really dropping a lot of bones. I wonder if today is a bad luck day. It could be. That would explain a lot. I saw. Okay, got one. Come on, I just want some bone fragments. Yeah, and once we get some, then I want... I want to see how the mill works, so... I should probably grab a little bit more, huh? Mm. No, please. Ooh, that was scary, that didn't feel good. Selling the monster loot all at one time, though, feels really satisfying. I gotta say. I kind of like saving it up. You know, every time that I go out to hit the mines. Another bone sword. I'm good. I'll pass on that. I don't need to use it. I'll just sell it for money. How about that? Yeah, should be fine. Should be fine. Been. I know it's not really quite the holidays yet, but how has the pre-holiday been treating you? Let me know. Because I'm watching the chat. I'm probably on a couch somewhere. <laughs> Hanging out with Mama Mori or something. I'm sure she understands. You deadbeats probably be like, it's not a real break, Mori. It's not a real break. You're still looking at the screen. It still work. And you might be right. But I don't mind talking to you guys. That's not work to me. I know what work is. Trust me. I know what work is. I just don't consider that it. Don't consider that it. We're definitely going to be able to make the mill today. <gasps> Diamond! Nice. Seems like a pretty rare drop. Hey, you want to give me some Omni Geodes, King? Okay. How many do we have? About 16. I'd like to get a little bit more. Oh my lord, they're very excited. More coal. More coal for the naughtiest member. Moe. She's ignoring her vacation obligations. <laughs> And is probably lurking. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I guess.
guess now's as good a time as any. All right. Um, ba bum 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 ba bum. Monster loot. Get it out of here. Get it away from me. I bet we could sell all those bat wings for a lot of money. But you know, bat wings are actually necessary for certain things for crafting. So maybe we shouldn't. But I am going to sell some of this stuff. Oh, the cave carrot will drop in here. Just a provision. And yeah. I don't think there's any other monster loot. The rest is stuff I'll sell or use to craft things or give to my fish. Oh, hey. The sun is coming out less and less these days. Wonderful. I'm telling you. I relate to dude. I just relate to him. The sun hurts me, too. Love the darkness. Love being edgy. Hey there. Uh, let's see. I'm just here to sell you things. Really. I'm not interested in anything else you have. Wooden mallet. Just take it. I don't need it. There. See, we're back to about the money that we had before. So I don't feel so bad about it. Dee 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 da 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 da. Do 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 do. Rabbit, you know, there's like a really small chance that you can see a mysterious shadow going into the bush. And it's like a creature of some kind. Not something from this world, you know? That's scary. Let's see. Oh, it was the animal one. And we have a pumpkin, so that's good. Oh, this is not a part of the animal bundle, but you know, hold on. It is a part of this one. And then we complete it. Yatta. The bundle is complete. And now all we need to do is finish these things. Animal bundle and then fall crops bundle. We should try and make a coop as soon as possible. Maybe tomorrow. How about it? And raise chickens. And then upgrade the barn. Yeah, it's the animal stuff that's gonna- Yatta! It might be a little... Yatta! That's gonna be tough for us, but it's okay. It'll be worth. Corn, egg, but we have all these things. We can just finish it now. We can finish that one, Deadbeats. We'll do it tomorrow. And I guess keep checking the cart. Hmm. Oh, the cart was there today and I missed it. Aw. Oh. I'm sure some deadbeats in the chat really upset about that. I'm sorry, deadbeat. I didn't mean to make you stressed like that. I'll be more careful next time. I'll be more careful. We're making pretty good progress on a lot of the bundles, though. I probably should go check again what's needed for some of them. I'm definitely missing some things. Um, what do we need this for? Oh, honey house. I'm just gonna sell these for now. We're gonna make the, the bone mill thingy. Some gifts, cheese, the wild honey. You know, we can make the mead right now. Oh lord, the gamepad disconnection's real bad. Cease. I want you to stop. Now let's put it in and see what we get. Hope I can make a seed maker soon. That would be nice. Now let's see. What can we put away for the day? We have a lot of diamonds. We can probably sell some of them pretty soon, but I don't know. I'm on that caviar grind, you know, guys? Now let's make the bone mill. What do we need? Um, I believe we need... Yeah, we need clay and stone. I think we have clay and stone. Oh yeah, here we go. Dead beats, prepare your bones. Never mind. Oh no. I wonder... I wonder how effective it is. I guess we can test it out. Wait, what? Oh my god. Whew. I got really nervous. I saw... I saw a ghost cat in the corner of my eye and I thought Krovis was in my bed or something. Oh, that gave me a heart attack. A little mini heart attack there, but I'm okay. 
There we go. All right, I'm gonna feed you guys. Oh, it takes five. I wonder what kind of fertilizer it will make. Well, I guess we better start saving these bone fragments too. We'll probably get a lot more of them once we unlock the island as well. Anything else I need to do today? Hmm. I did sell all my yams. I probably should get more. I'm mad at myself. I sold all the yams and the corn. The corn will come back. It'll be fine. Can't believe I sold everything. I mean, I can, but... Dang it, Mori. Wow! <gasps> Oil maker, yatta! And we got the keg recipe. But what I really want is the seed maker recipe. Deluxe speed grow. I guess it is the seed making. It's not game breaking, but it is a very good item. So I can see why they're a little hesitant to give it to me out of nowhere. Okay. Bing. <laughs> Journal updated. Oh yeah? How so? Raising animals. Oh nice. You'll need to build a cooper barn. I did get that. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Still haven't found the blackberry basket. I gotta find that for Lioness, he can't collect berries. Oh, speed grow. Is it random every time, I wonder? Some quality stone. Thank you, Dad. Just wanted to remind you the Stardew Valley Fair is happening tomorrow. Nothing from Pierre? On God? Why did I give you all those nice quality crops? I think I hate you, dude. I think I really hate you. This meat isn't the highest quality because we need to age it, so... For shame. Is this bok choy? It grows really fast. This one actually isn't, um, necessary for any bundles. Now what I want to do is I want to take this and I want to pickle some... Pickled bok choy, eh? Sounds like some, uh, skimmel no. Japanese pickles. But it's not a Japanese vegetable. Um, but still, kind of feel like it might be that kind of thing. <gasps> One crow. Okay. Nine crows? They really like that spot. No, please go back. I think it reset. Yeah. Two crows. Um, anyway. Anyway, I want to compare the price of a gold star one to a pickled one. I wish that whatever's pickling and being jelly right now would hurry up, because that's annoying. All right, we'll just sell the corn, except for one here. Except for the one. Why, you may ask? Because we need it for the bundle, and we also are gonna use a pumpkin. Um, I am gonna sell those, though. Wait. Shouldn't I have some gold star things? Dang it. I should reset the day. I should reset the day. <laughs> Why? Because we're doing the, the Grange tomorrow. I won't win. I won't win. But I still want to give it my best shot. It's my duty to give it my best shot. So let's just collect everything. Don't ship anything today, just... Hold your horses, calm down. Okay. Brink. Maybe I can get like a really good gold star milk and then a cheese? Maybe? That would be good? Some corn, some bok choy? I think you're also kind of supposed to have like a range of different things. You know? Maybe I'll put my star fruit in there. And it doesn't go away, by the way. Just so you guys know. It's not like it disappears at the end. You get to pick up all your stuff, so that's nice. Yeah. I want to do my best, even if I won't win. 
We've got to try. All right, what kind of milk do we got? Oh, well, she's large milk. I want the best milk, the best largest milk. <gasps> Two gold star large milks. That ought to be good, right? And it's probably up to the <laughs> Moria's. No milk now. Okay. The quality of the cheese, eh? Yeah, I've got gold star cheese now, which is great. It's nice to have a chest right outside the shipping bin so I can really look before I leap. And now the coop is done so we can get chickens. I totally forgot that we were building that. Nice. And I'll probably put a diamond in there too. But let me get one of these, one of these, and one of these. And now we just need yams. I'll go throw those in the box. Yeah, I love not having to water anything. Let's grow yams next. We don't want to lose out on those before the year passes over. Um, the first time that I played this game, in my personal file, I just didn't care about any of the bundle stuff. So I don't think I completed it until year three, to be honest. I just didn't care about it, but I didn't... I also didn't realize how easy it is. It's really not... I mean, it has its difficult moments, but it's not that difficult to collect everything, so I kind of just viewed it as like an impossible task, I don't really care about this, etc, but it's really not that hard. You know? I mean, I know there are faster ways to complete it and such, but for all intents and purposes, if you're just kind of like slow going... Oh, eggplant. We're missing eggplants too. That's okay, they regrow. It's really not that difficult. It's still hard, but it's not extremely difficult. Do do da da do do da da da. Oh. Hey. Wait. Okay. <laughs> All right, Pierre. I figured you'd give me a little something nice, as you should. Now I don't have to kill you. We're good. We're good now. Gus, I have just the thing for you. I'm all ears. It's a bundle of locally sourced organic heirloom vegetables. These are hand-picked and sorted to ensure only the very finest in quality and taste. Wow, they're going to use my veggies to make the stuff at the bar? Nice. This is a once-in-a-lifetime kind of offer. That sounds pretty good. I could use some quality veggies from the saloon. How much does it cost? <gasps> only mumble, mumble, mumble. Huh? What was that? <laughs> for a moment there, I thought I heard 25,000... Gee, he's trying, that shyster. <laughs> That's right, it really is a bargain, isn't it? <laughs> Pierre, are you crazy? There's no way I could afford that. I'd have to sell the saloon. I overheard the price. That's outrageous. You should be ashamed. <sighs> yeah, yeah, you should, I yell from the back. <laughs> Those are my vegetables. I'll sell them to you guys for the actual price that they're worth, which is not that. He's a shyster. Don't listen to him. Wait, how about 10,000 G then? Oh my gosh, no way. I'm sorry, guys. Those are my veggies. Oh, sorry, you guys can't see. <laughs> it's a disaster, Callie. I thought this was a surefire business strategy, but it turns out no one is willing to buy vegetables at a 10%, at 10 times price markup, even if I put the little organic sticker on them. You want some useless me, should be less greedy. I'm offended they didn't want my veggies. <laughs> I'm not offended. He should be less greedy, but I do have... I do have social know-how, so well, you win some, you lose some. You're right. You can't run a business without taking some risk. Just sell them for the price that I sell them for. Hmm. By the way, Callie, you look like you could really use a veggie dinner tonight. What do you say? Want to buy these back for the low, low price of 2,501 G? Just give them back. Give them back to me. So that's it? You're not gonna give them back to me, really? Fuck you, Pierre. I think I hate him. I think I hate him. Fall seeds are here! <sighs> that son of a bitch.
Getting some supplies for the saloon. Years got the good stuff, does he now? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Is it really only 2,500 gold? There must be something I'm missing. Hmm. Oh, it looks like there might be something else. But I think I need him to deliver it to me. Just really needed to make sure I didn't answer the wrong thing in the cutscene. <sighs> That'd be painful. That would indeed be very painful, Deadbeats. It's fine. If he does deliver the thing to me that I think he's going to deliver to me, then I think there should be some worth to it. I still probably would have made more selling those items, but it is what it is. We just got to live with it. We just got to live with it. Guess I didn't need the bok choy, of course. Um, I'm just gonna sell these. And I'm gonna sell this wild plum. Trust me, the pumpkins are really good. Oh yeah, and Abigail really likes pumpkins too. So maybe I can give one to her sometime soon. Hey bats, we cooking up anything good over here? Have you finally stopped forsaking me? I mean, it's not like I really need any other fruits for the artisan bundle because we got the goat cheese. But it still is a pain, you know? Hey, I wonder if we're selling chickens today. Are we? Are we selling chickens today? I'm gonna save the orange for turning into jelly. Because I feel like orange jelly's pretty good, right? I forget the selling price. Not gonna lie, Dead Beats, I forget. Oh, a new quest? Bring two maple syrups. Dang it, I like just sold one. <laughs> I forgot that's what they wanted. Hold on, 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 hold on. No, 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 no. I just need one more, please. No, 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 no. My big hat really does get in the way, huh? There. That should be a little better. Especially because so many of my plants are over there, right? I want you guys to be able to see me properly on that side as well. No more maple syrup, really. I did this to myself. That's fine. We'll get another one. I'm not worried. Let's go see if they have any animals. Oh, nice. Found some bone fragments. In the ground, like a dead body was buried there. Let's go. All right. Please be working. Please be working. I hate you. So much. Die. Anyway, <laughs> you know what they say, you know what Pierre says, you win some, you lose some. Well, as for the Grange, I wonder what good stuff that we have, what possibilities there are, maybe fishing. <gasps> Hold on, I'm pretty sure I have a gold star sturgeon. And that's gotta be pretty good, right? Must be. That has gotta be pretty good. I'm gonna put the speed grow away. Five speed grow? That's actually really good. From just some bone fragments? No, it's a silver starred one, but you know what? I have a gold starred midnight carp. I feel good about that. No prismatic shard though. Man, wish I had a prismatic shard. You have a diamond. Hmm.
No, I can't take the chance. My fish want these. I'm just gonna try with two of them. I already have to crack open some geodes, so let's just see. My fish only need three, so surely it's fine. Right? Maybe. Let's find out. Oh, what did I need from here? Oh yeah, we have this. Okay, that's good. Alrighty. Hmm. I wonder, maybe I should check how much each of the fish sell for. Because that may contribute to the Grange. You know, maybe the Gold Star Midnight Carp doesn't sell for as much as the Silver Star Sur Sturgeon does. I almost said Surgeon. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Hello, please crack open my geodes. Onegaishimasu. Dang it. Oh well, unlucky. No. No! Come on, last gotcha roll. Ah. It's alright, I guess. You win some, you lose some. That should be the title of today's stream. You win some, you lose some, deadbeats. It is what it is. <sighs> oh well. Let's just sell it, I guess. I'm a tight. Esperite. And then the other stuff is at least materials I can do something with. Alright. Um, bum bum ba bum 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 ba bum bum. I shouldn't go to bed so early. I should do something. I should be productive. Maybe we go to the mines. Yeah. Let's go to the mines. Oh. I saw something running. Hey, come back here. Alrighty, let's see what kind of loot we can find. <laughs> let's go pretty deep. Maybe we can find some new omni no, omni geodes. Cracking omni geodes won't help us. Because tomorrow the omni geode cracking place is going to be closed because of the festival. Let's just collect materials then, I guess. Gold bars become really important for crafting certain things. Yo, what if I found a slime egg though? Wouldn't that be cool? Yo, these bats are really strong. Prank. They're still getting pranked. Also, I didn't bring any food in here. Kind of daring. That's right, I love danger, deadbeats. I love danger. I am the danger. I am the one who knocks. Oh, nice. I'm the Geo that I can't crack open. Oh, hello. Whatever. At least I can make up for the ones that I did crack open. Today. When I didn't need to crack them open and I could have given them to my fish. Please stop. That. No chickens either. I want to raise chickens. Where are the bats at? I mean, I'm not complaining. It's just I heard one screech. Where is he? Boink. That's a lot of gold. You'd think that the gold would be worth more. It's really quite cheap. That's why you gotta do something with it. And even if you like smelt and sell literal gold bars, it's really not as much as you would think. It does not really sell for that much, sadly. Hmm. Oh, the exit was right there, Mori. Are you kidding me? Mori, what's going on there? Maybe I'm too chilled out right now, I don't know. Getting absorbed in the mines. Mm. Emerald. Some beautiful gems might look good in the Grange. Oh boy. I need to remember how to do it. Oh, yeah. Properly, most effectively. <gasps> Diamond. 
Yummy. No. Fight me, fight me, fight me. Come on, I know you want some. Yeah. Okay. Down another level. Ooh. Maybe we'll find some treasure. Ooh, Jade. Hey, listen though. Jade is really good for making stairwells. And those those might be helpful. A little bit later on when we get to the skull cavern. Especially if we want to find prehistoric levels and get dino eggs Ugh, to make dinosaur mayonnaise. Ever wonder how dinosaur mayonnaise would even taste like? I don't know, can you really make mayo out of reptile eggs? Would that even taste any good? I don't know, deadbeat. Beats, what do you think? Would it taste good? Maybe it would taste kind of scaly and watery. Like pool water or something. Yuck. I don't want to think about it. Probably taste horrific. But this is fantasy land, so maybe it's fine. Oh, there's a darkness dude. It's the dark dude. I'm just fighting for the possibility of a slime egg, okay? It's the only reason I'm fighting here. No slime egg. And my health has taken a pretty big hit. It's all right. I already have a ruby. I don't need it. I'll just keep cracking open the rocks, I guess. <laughs> all right, I'm out of here. Let's blow this popsicle stand. We got a little extra material, but nothing really to write home about, sadly. Now, in terms of stuff we don't need... Some slime. Gotta save up as much slime as possible. Once we get a slime hutch, I want to press all of those bad boys into eggs. We're gonna sell for so much money. It's gonna be great. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, I want to go back to the bus stop. Okay. <clears throat> ah. mm -hmm. <laughs> Ah, a winty fall evening. A win- winty? A winty? Fall e- A windy fall evening. Maybe I'll exhibit one of these jellies. I wish I made some pumpkin uh, pickles in time. Oh well. That's fine. We got what we got. And it's not a lot, but it's all that we got. Boink. And then I think there's a couple more. Two more. There we go. Should be good. Anything else I want to sell? Maybe just the bat wings for now, just because. And then we'll put that in the Grinch. Speed grow. Got some mead. It's not exceedingly high quality, but it is what it is. I need to rearrange some things. And now I'm gonna go look up the guide for how this festival works. I'm just gonna try and optimize it as much as I can. Ooh, what's this? Deluxe Speed Grow. That's an even better one. Nice, I didn't even notice in the darkness. Okay, well for now, just put everything in here. Just, just for now, and we'll select what we want later. Okay. This will go in here. Oh, I forgot about the Omni Geode. Hold on. Okay. Now give me just a second, you guys. I'm gonna look this up. Okay. Stardew. Stardew Valley. Um. Grange. Stardew Valley Fair. All right. Let's see. On the Grange display. Bring up to nine items and put them in there. The display is judged on the quality and diversity of the items and is rewarded with star tokens. 
based on the place achieved. It can be retrieved after the judging is completed. Okay. Let's see. Scoring. Points are calculated as follows. Points based on how many items are there. Okay. There are eight categories of items recognized by the fair. Animal products, artisan goods, cooking, fish, foraging including flowers and tree saps, fruits, minerals, and vegetables. Okay. Cooking, fish, foraging, artisan goods, vegetables. Okay. Got it. Hmm. Interesting. Roe and dinosaur egg are not considered animal products for scoring purposes. They are considered uncategorized trash items. So do they just not count? That sucks. This seems very in-depth. It's got every single item listed here. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'll just bring what I have. It looks like the albacore sells for a lot. Uh, not... Wait, no, hold on. It depends on the star. It depends on the star. The midnight carp is pretty good. But I wonder if the, stur the sturgeon just gets better points. So we'll put that in there. And the rest I'm gonna wing it. Cranberry jelly. It's not my best jelly, but it's, it's all I got. Alright, now let's see. One diamond. And I'm sure I have something good from foraging. This little guy. How about the chocolate cake? That should be good for cooking. Maybe this for foraging. Let's see. Animal products I can get tomorrow. I should have some pretty good cheese, I think. Let's see. Four, five. Animal goods, six, seven, eight. Fruits and vegetables. I'm missing something. Hold on. I'm trying to make sure I have all the categories figured out. I'm spending a lot of time trying to figure this out, even though it's very tactile and I'm not going to win. But fruits, minerals, animal product. Getting tomorrow. Artisan good. Have it. Cooking. Have it. Fish. Have it. Forging, have it. Fruits, minerals, vegetables. This is a mineral. Vegetable. Animal, artisan, cooking, fish, forging, fruits, minerals, vegetables. That's eight. This means only six of the categories need to be fulfilled to get the maximum score. Got it. Okay. I think I understand. So then maybe I'll get like an extra of another item. I don't know. Or another category. Since there are only eight categories. Yo, they missed- they really messed up giving me this. <laughs> it's time to print diamonds. They messed up giving me that. It's over. Game's beaten. <laughs> oh, what's this? Hold on, journal. Raising animals. Okay, I never really got that. Alright. Dum dum. Hey, Pierre, got something nice for me? Okay, here we go. I guess people didn't <laughs> take to Pierre's prime produce like I'd hoped. Here's my old mini shipping bin. The next time you get your hands on some produce worthy of Pierre's prime luxury brand, maybe you could have them shipped my way. Pierre. Nice, a mini shipping bin. That's interesting. I wonder what the use of it is. I'm sure it does something, though. Something good. All right. Dang. Was I not making cheese? God, I hope that they have milk. Please have milk. Please, no. No! There's no way! I didn't feed them? I don't believe- oh. What's that mushroom doing back there? Is that a real thing? There must be something that I have. No! Please! I was so certain! I sold everything. Well, this is kind of a mess, but it is what it is. 
I still have my fruits and vegetables. I really let my cows down. And I let myself... Oh, they're here. Just kidding. <sighs> I was about to be really mad at myself. You know, a Silver Star Pumpkin's still pretty good. Jeez. It's the, just the better artisan good. Not a star fruit, though. 125 energy. This is considered a vegetable, actually. I'm gonna put that back and I'm gonna take the star fruit instead. And we have that. We'll do milk. We have this, 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 and this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're good. I'm happy with that. <laughs> oh, that was scary. That was pretty scary. We're fine though, we're fine. I was having a full, full blown villain arc right there. <laughs> Trying not to blame my cows for me forgetting to feed them yesterday. Ah, that's all right, we came out of it okay. I mean, not really because the cows are still starving, but now this is really interesting. What is this? I thought this was a mod. Does that just happen sometimes? I wonder. That's amazing. I want all of those everywhere. Maybe it's like a forest map only thing? I don't know. Well, the festival's today, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a little work around here anyway. Gather some hardwood, some regular wood. Wish I had some more tappers for right now. Little too many trees uh, bunched together for my liking right now. We should get to a point where we we just have maple syrup anytime, any day. Yeah, on like all of these trees, we need to put tappers on them. Every single one needs a tapper. <gasps> the festival started. Okay. No problem. Dead beats, no problem. Ah, Noelle's looking a little thin. Oh, I'm sorry. That was my bad. That was really, really my bad. Well, let's see how things go. It's the Stardew Valley Fair. Look at that cute MS Paint banner. All right. All the different games here. They have a bunch of different games you can try. Let me set up my Grange. I'm gonna give it my best. I know probably Pierre's probably gonna win. I don't know if he should win, but he's probably gonna win. I'm just really proud of this milk, you know? I know it might be good to do mead, but I still feel like this is the bet. This is the animal product that I need, so. Yeah. This is my Grange. Yours looks pretty okay. I tried my best, but my display is pretty weak compared to Pierre's. Are you setting up your Grange display? It's your chance to show off all the good produce from Deadbeat. You mean Deadbeat Farm? My, de my Deadbeats, they don't really produce anything. Except for lots of support from- oh, that's not true. We have artists, we have musicians. Deadbeats are always making produce now that I really think about it. Just not in the way that Willie thinks about it, you know? My store carries the very finest quality products. Can I have this, uh, cabbage? I need it to restore the town. Please, just entrust your cabbage to me, and I promise I will make the town shine again. Pierre is very serious about his Grange display. He's been setting aside the best-looking produce for weeks in preparation. Arama. This guy's pretty funky. It's a fun looking town you got here, nice and cozy, and a real sense of community. Oh, there's a clown. You know, I would have made a pretty good clown. I think I missed my calling. Maybe, maybe. He doesn't look very happy. I guess Mary Mayor Lewis had to cut costs with a budget clown this year. <laughs> what a shame. I really admire Robin's carpentry skills. I use a lot of the same techniques in my own line of, of work. You mean like art stuff? 
You guys are both redheads, very cute. It's like the Pokemon evolution chain, first Penny, then Leia, then Robin. Woodworking is an ancient tradition that I'm very proud, of, proud to be a part of. I complain about my job sometimes, but I do take pride in my work. These are some of my finest pieces. I hope you like them. Yeah, I really like copper bar. That looks pretty sick. Can I have that? No, n not for money. I want it. Sebastian. Yo, wait, get that smoke out of my face, Sebastian. Kind of hectic today. I'm just going to hang out here for a while. Oh, my Lord. Hey, Callie. Having a good time? Yeah, until Sebastian sprayed smoke in my face. The slingshot tent is pretty fun, and if you get good at it, you can really rack up the star tokens. Oh, this is cute. Look at all the petting zoo. Moo. Ow, the hen pecked my little finger. And just a few steps over there, Gus is grilling up a batch of pork ribs. Yikes. <laughs> no, don't tell the piggies. Hey, can I get some of those, though? All these animals are friendly and love to get massaged. Are you the one massaging them, Shane? Mm. Where's the pork ribs? I don't... Oh, they're up there. I think we can go up there. I usually don't go up that far. I didn't even know there were things there. Oh, hey, Abigail, my girlfriend. I already beat all the games. Now what? She's a gamer. She really is a gamer. Ah. Here we go. Here's the grill. Turis says, man, I can't take another bite of this barbecue sandwich. So stuffed. I'm trying to get Gus to tell me his sauce recipe, but he won't budge. I mean, what? And have you just make a bunch of sandwiches and sell them? Please, that's his livelihood. Maru says, slurp, this barbecue sauce is amazing. Hey, can you tell me, though? If you won't tell Elliot, you'll tell me, right? Eat as much as you like. It's all free today. Compliments of Mayor Lewis. Yatta! Wow. So we can just... Again? Is my farmer not sick or anything? Mmm, smoked turkey haunch? I guess this festival isn't bad. Ah, <laughs> look at that smile! That's the first time we've seen George smile. I wish Gus would include a vegetarian option. Some zucchini skewers, maybe? Oh, I kind of dropped the old lady voice there. <laughs> yeah, that's just like my grandma Reap. Maury's stealing all the barbecue! But now I kind of want to eat a barbecue sandwich. Tell me your sauce recipe. Gus, tell me your sauce recipe. Tell it to me now. The shop, you can only buy things with star tokens, I believe. I don't have any star tokens, though. <gasps> star drop. We want to try and get that for sure. Fedora. <laughs> Maybe the fedora would be good. <laughs> and the rare crow. Let's aim for those things. Well, go ahead and check out the Grange. It's the big day, our most important festival of the year, the Stardew Valley Fair. If you'd like to participate by setting up a Grange display, I left an empty one for you. Do it. Go check it out. I did a great job, I think. Oh, for having nothing. <laughs> for my first year, I don't think it's so bad. Hey, look, my pumpkin at least looks like a little, a little lighter, a little, a little riper than Pierre's. What do you think? Maybe darker, darker is better for the ripeness. I don't know. What do you think about my star fruit? Pretty good, right? What do you guys think he thought? I didn't see his facial expression. You think he liked it? So what do we think? What do we think about the Grange? I understood the assignment, right? So what do we think? The Grange display has been judged. Return to Mayor Lewis for the result. <gasps> yeah. Hey, Deadbeats. We did it anyway. We defied all the odds and we won. Woo! Deadbeats going crazy in chat for the win. Congratulations, you won first place with a rating of 102. I get a thousand star tokens. Spend them wisely. Don't forget to clean out your Grange display box. Yeah, give me all my goodies so I can sell not all of them, but many of them. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we won. Time to rub it in Pierre's face. I mean, I mean, time to go say good game to my dear rival Pierre, the people's man. Always thinking about how not to scam his customers. A respectable gentleman. I can't believe I lost. 
I bet he's really, really unhappy I moved to this town, because that's how it's going to be every year, Pierre. I didn't win, but it was still satisfying to share all my hard work, and she's still so cute, and all the dudes, all the older dudes here still love her. Wow, I got a low score. I guess Mayor Lewis isn't much of a fish man. Oh well. To each their own, right? What about you, Clint? Did Clint enter? I don't think his really count. His really counts, huh? Because I figured maybe it would be judged, but I guess not. Um, now we have to figure out how to multiply the star coins as much as possible. Better hurry up, kid, before old Pam here fishes every last lunker out of the tent. She's apparently really good at fishing. Try your hand at some fishing. You could win big. Let's do it. All right, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. All right, let's do it. For the star tokens. Yeah, this is a really good mini game for getting a bunch of tokens. I'm terrible at the slingshot one, though. Like, the slingshot mini game is just embarrassing. We'll play it, of course, because I'm no Weenie Hut Jr., but you'll get what I mean when you see. You'll understand. You will understand immediately what I mean. I'm not good at it. I'm pretty bad at using the slingshot in general, so I guess it checks out. Hey, getting that perfect bonus though, right? Let's go. How much time is left? Probably not much. Just let me get this last fish. Oh, you know what? I think we can get one more. All right, let's try and tip it over 100. Then we can get hella star coins. All right, 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 all right. Prank! Oh, maybe one more? Maybe a quick fish? Yes! Oh. Well, hey, that's one point. <laughs> come on, come on. Dang it! Uh, at the last second. But what do we think? Five fish. 200 perfection bonus. 384 star tokens. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm gonna go bet all of them now. 384. Uh, let's go with um, green, because that's the color of money. We'll do 384, which we just won. I don't feel so bad about losing all those. Here we go. Yeah, duh. Okay. Ooh, thank goodness for that. Uh, I don't want to play. Get away from me. Um, need to be careful. No more gambling. Got to quit while we're while we're up. You know. Oh, dang it. Got to quit while we're on the up and up. You know? It's so easy to get the perfect bonus, I feel like I need to be careful and really try to perfect all these fish. Like we're playing a fighting game. Perfect the fish. They are an exceedingly difficult fish to capture, so it should be possible. Then we get a ton of star coins. Hoi, 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 Yes! Pop, 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 pop. Pop. Let's go. I'm not sleepy. Why would I be sleepy? I'm fishing. I'm invested. Come on. Please let me tip over the hundred. 
I beg. Come on, a third game! It's because I got too lucky with the Grange. Please don't kick me out of the fishing. Please let me finish my fish. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for letting me finish my fish. We didn't get over 100, that's okay. Lots of perfection bonuses though, right? Dang it, not as many as I thought. But hey, I'll take it. 348 star tokens, let's go. Still a couple more things that I want, but... I don't know if we can get a bonus from this. The slingshot game is... Uh, I'm just really bad at it. My accuracy is just so... Oh boy. Oh, it stops on the blue ones. Okay, interesting. Maybe it's not expected that you hit all of them, you know? Just some of them, right? No! Not the purple ones. Come on! Get the purple- No! Wait, I can do better. I know I can do better. I don't know how to get these. If I just shoot wildly, I'm bound to hit some of them, right? Right? Oh man, that's tough. No accuracy bonus. Oh wow, okay, 30. That's really better than I thought I... I thought I'd get no reward. Can I try one more time? Please? Please, can I try one more time? I can do better. Hold on. Come on. No, my timing. I want to see a pro do this, not me. I wanted to get the purple. Dang it. Come on. Hold on, that was definitely the game pet. No. Yes. Okay. Just try not to move it too much. Okay, how many this time? Last score was 47. 60, little better. 80, okay, 85%, pretty good. Yatta, accuracy multiplier. Okay, 104 star tokens, I'll take it. I'll take it. Now listen to this scam. Selling star tokens for 50G a piece. Disgusting. You think I would ever buy those? I guess for wagering, but... I won the Wheel of Chance ten times in a row, and now the man won't let me play anymore. <laughs> Penny, how? <laughs> how did that happen? I mean, it's awesome, but... I can kind of see why he doesn't let you play. <laughs> that is shifty. Have you been to the fortune teller? Oh, that's right, yeah. A friend of the wizard, I think, right? Hmm. Let's go get our fortune told. Let's see. Nice. Read my fortune, please. Ah, indeed. I see you in a room having a conversation with a lady. Oh, it's Marnie. You seem to be close friends. We are not. I barely talk to her, unless it's about buying chickens. It's dark and I see you and a certain young lady. She looks quite hopeful and eager to spend time with you. Oh... What's the young lady's name? I believe it starts with an A. <gasps> My girl. The crystal ball has moved on. You're in combat. There's something dreadful bearing down on you from the dark, but you seem more than ready to face it. The crystal ball has gone dim. That's all I can do for you, young one. Is it Joja? Is it Morris? Now just keep in mind that the future isn't set in stone. Whatever I've told you today can still be changed if you set your heart on it. Farewell. So like if I just decided to drop Abigail and go after Shane, which I would never do? Well, Wick and I have known each other for a long time. She is a remarkable diviner and a good friend. Dot dot dot. That clown. I know him from somewhere. Was it the School of Illusion? Or maybe the Carnival of Secrets? Hmm. <laughs> the wizard seems so interesting. I feel like his, his quest line or like getting to know him would be super fun. He knows so much. Too much. Are you strong like me, Smash Stone? Oh, I see. Strength, iron. 
Hold on. Strength level sandstone. Try again. Yeah! <laughs> and that's what I like to see. Here, I have a star token. <laughs> One star token? All right, buddy, whatever you say. How many star tokens do I have? 200, or 2,251, so we can get the star drop for sure. Yatta. That's what I really wanted. Sorry, my hat's getting cut off again. You found a star drop. Your mind is filled with thoughts of onsen. Your maximum energy level has increased. And that is a must buy. Now after that, I really kind of wanted the rare crow slash fedora. Let's at least get the rare crow. Fedora's a little... Yeah. I like my straw hat. See, it matches me like I am here. Who needs a fedora? All right, time for that perfection bonus, lads. Lads, lads, lads. Yatta. All right. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Glasses, Pierre. Or Harvey. They look a little more like Pierre's glasses, though, I think. I wonder if Pierre speaks with a French accent. But I think it would sound terrible if I tried to do that, so I won't do that. Worry not, deadbeats. You have nothing to fear. <laughs> Some deadbeats like, oh man, too bad, missed opportunity. What kind of fish is this? This is a little more jumpy than the others. All right. Come on, we still have a chance. Dang it, I want that perfection bonus. Just need one perfect fish. Chub, give me another one. We can do this. We can get a good score. We still have time. Come on. Yatta. I think one more game after this should be just enough to get the rare crow. Okay, we're over 100. Yatta. All right, that's time. So how'd we do? I feel much more confident when, with this than the slingshot one, which is crazy because fishing is usually intimidating for me. Yay, 360 star tokens. So maybe one more game of fishing. And no, I'm not going to gamble it away. I absolutely will not gamble it away. <laughs> oh, I did that on my personal file and I lost so many star tokens. Because I kept choosing the same color every time, thinking surely... Surely I'll get my money back. And it was always the opposite color. <laughs> Felt rigged, but I don't know. Probably wasn't. <laughs> I don't think it was, Deadbeats. I don't think it was. I think it was just terrible luck. But you know, outside of getting into Whole Alive, I don't consider myself to be very lucky with, like, anything. <laughs> to be completely honest. But... I'm super lucky to have amassed you guys as a community. That's pretty nice. That's a pretty nice thing. So I guess I'm pretty lucky there. You know? Oh boy, my score is kind of low. I fished up quite a bit of trash. We can turn it around. There's always hope. Iris is not here, but there's always hope. And Iris is really good at fishing in this game, I think. Or at least that's the word on the street. That's what I heard from the deadbeats. I wonder what the aristocrats think. Surely she is the fishing queen. That's cool. Mori is the mining queen. I love the mines. Mori always yearns for the mines. Yatta! Not a bad score at all. Nice. 420 star tokens, you don't say. You don't 
don't say. Alrighty, I'll be taking my rare crow. Hope no one else has bought it. I just realized how good the glowstone ring is. Alright, hold on. Because then that gives me room for another ring. That's really good. I will not gamble it all away. I'll just keep fishing. It's not too bad. It's not like... It's not hard fishing or anything like that. It's a lot of the same stuff, so it gets a bit stale, but... It'll be worth it for the, the glowstone ring. Because that seems like a really amazing item to have at this point in the game, you know? Especially if we're going back into the mines for winter time. Though I wish we could go to the skull cavern, but I just don't have the money for that, you know? The money you gotta put into the bank one is just... It's a lot. It's a lot of money. If you want to get the, the bus running again, you know? It's a pretty penny. But I'm nowhere near strong enough for the Skull Cavern yet anyway, so... It's fine. We can still go chill at the regular mine. Still plenty of Omni Geodes to be dug up there. That's just, I don't know, there's so many more at the Skull Cavern. Man, someday we will be digging there, though. Kind of crazy to think about, huh? Later game stuff with you guys. This is one of those games I'm going to be putting a lot of hours into, because again, I've, I've wanted to play it since I joined Holo. Now we finally have the opportunity. I'm taking it. I am not putting these permissions to waste. That's for sure. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, too bad. But hey, better score than last time, even. Nice. Okay. Let's get it. 444 four, four star tokens? It's like the game knows it's me. Thank you very much. For my favorite number of all time. We could go gamble it all away, or we could simply fish real good. That's what I'm gonna do. I know that also you can put rings together once you get to the volcano, but the volcano is really late game. So. Might just be a good idea to grab this ring at this time in the game. You know? <laughs> Longest day spent in Stardew, honestly. At the, the Stardew Valley Fair. Dun, dun, dun. Thank you, Itadakimasu. Okay. You know, another idea that I had for pre-recorded, like, content for while I'm away on vacation, right? Is I thought another way that I could do it playing this game would be to pre-record the gameplay and then just, like, talk over it and interact with you guys in chat, but... I think... I think it might just be better to, um... Be in chat. <laughs> Chatting here and there with you guys while kind of reacting in real time to the, the game itself. It just feels like a bit more authentic that way, you know? Oh boy. Dang it. Quite a low score, but I wonder if it'll... I don't think it'll be enough. We might need to fish one more time. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> but wait a minute, I have a workaround for this. 999 star tokens? If only I had one more star token. Tree trunk. Like Jump King tree trunk thighs? Gorilla. Kanata strength. Alright. We got the timing really good last time. Dang it. We got this. No. 
It's the ping. It's it's just lag. Yatta. Give me that star token. Now we have just enough. For the glowstone ring. Yatta. The dried sunflowers look kind of nice. <laughs> Help me. All right. One more time playing the slingshot game. Just one more time. Proving my metal. Hold on. These guys are easier to break. Sometimes you just gotta go for the easier to break ones. The easier to prank ones. Prank! No, no! I'm dead serious about this, Deadbeats. I'm dead serious. All of them. No! Oh well. Okay, the accuracy is really gonna go down after that. Come on. Okay, 67. Better than last time, right? Was it 70? I don't know. Accuracy bonus. All right, I'll take it. 84 star tokens. That's not... Okay. What if I just bet it all on orange this time for Kiara color? Let's do 66. The number of the beast. Gambling is bad, kids. Don't do it. I don't need house decorations. That's for people with uh, nothing to do. And I got things to do. You know? Well, let's see. What did I want to put away? Just for now, put away the fruits. And, um, I wanted to sell some things. We'll sell the diamond. Just sell it. Get rid of the cheese. We're gonna turn that milk into cheese, so don't get rid of that. Prank, prank, prank. And then I need my wood. Oh boy. Put my wood away. Alright. I've successfully put my wood away. Now, my seed is also going away. And now, my shell. And the cake. All away. Um, what else did I need to put away? I'm gonna wear this ring. Will it increase my radius even further? I wonder. Now we have multiple glow rings. Emits a constant light, emits a small constant light. Big light, huh? Well, anyway. I feel good. Let me put my rare crow out here. Rare scarecrow. I wonder what's the purpose of this mini shipping bin? Is it just to have closer to things? Maybe I'll put it next to... right over here. Oh. Interesting. It's kind of cute. I'm not gonna lie. Time to make cheese. Boop. Noelle is trying to sleep. I am sorry for bothering you. Just wanted to say goodnight. Well, anyway. Goodnight. How much does the mead sell for? Only 200 G. And that's without it even being really like aged or anything. It's basically like the cheapest mead that you can get. You know? When you want mead for like a Christmas celebration or something. And they're not selling any at the at your local place. So you go to like the really cheap really cheap market. Ooh. Pretty. 
The fairy roses. Can I try and put one of them in the hive? No. No. Maybe it's for some other time. Nice, we needed eggplants. And then we need yams, and then after that, it's just the animal product uh, bundle that's left over. <laughs> hey, any maple syrup? No? Alright, that's fine. I didn't really care. Oh boy. Sunflowers. Da -da -da. I'm gonna sell them. But I don't want to sell the fairy roses. We'll need to save one eggplant there. I'm just gonna sell these. And one of these. We plant these sunflowers. So cute that they drop them extra afterward. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Hmm, I wonder if there's anything else I could plant right now over there. Some fall seeds, maybe? Yeah, that could be nice. We might as well. Anyway, hopefully the cows are feeling nice and fed after my little mistake yesterday. I feel really bad. I didn't want to leave them unfed. I just didn't think about it thought for sure, oh yeah, I finished all my chores today. Turned out that I hadn't. I had not. Hey, but how about yesterday's win, though? That felt nice. Got the star drop and everything. It's pretty good. Hey there, ghosty. You thirsty? Ghosty's thirsty. We could also maybe put some fruit in the cask. Da -da -da. See what kind of wine we can make. Yeah, we need wine, don't we? For the wizard's bundle. Oh, there we go. Yatta. Okay, check out the Mume's got no milk. Might as well put some seeds here. There we go. <laughs> Look, flat! Flat cat! Cute, cute. Yeah, they were pretty cross with me yesterday, so of course it's probably yeah, the lowest quality milk. I can't even blame them. I can't even blame them for that. <laughs> Let me check on the bats. Have they done anything? That's what I thought. It's about what I thought. Hey, these? Nice, okay. Got two of them. These actually turn into really nice jelly. Because they're two stars, I'm gonna sell them. These fairy roses are so pretty. I'm gonna sell one of the silver ones just to see how much it's worth. Put the rest away. I'm hoarding too many things. And the seeds go back in here. Okie dokie. Dun, 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 dun. Let's take a fruit and go ahead and try to make some wine out of it. How about cranberry wine? That sounds yum. All right, and then that will fulfill um, one of the wizards. But then we need the rabbit's foot, and I don't know where we can find the rabbit's foot. Hmm. I'm gonna go shake this mushroom tree because it's really. This is really funny. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. I wonder what happens if you chop it down. I kind of don't want to know, though. Because if I chop it down, I might lose it forever. Hmm. Hey, 
There's a little mushroom back there. It's a little guy. Waiting to be foraged. I see you, little guy. Mine. Maybe I just gotta plant more trees and hope one of them turns into a mushroom tree. Maple. Maple. Hmm. I do wonder. Well, hold on. Maybe I'll just look it up. Easy. Easy, easy. Mushroom tree. Stardew Valley. Mushroom tree. It's a tree that can be obtained in two ways. Oh. Mushroom tree seed. Yeah, I should put a tapper on it. A common tree can turn into a mushroom tree according to a rare event in fall. Wait, really? <laughs> on each day of fall, starting on fall 2, there's a 5% chance of a spawning event being triggered. During the event, the game engine will choose 10 farm tiles at random. If any of those 10 tiles have a fully grown untapped common tree or tree stump, then that tree will transform into a mushroom tree. If a mushroom tree stump is spawned, it will grow into a mushroom tree, but not until the following spring. Wait, really? But... Huh? But we're on year one. There are no limits on the number of times this event can occur. Huh. If unobstructed, seeds spread by a mushroom tree have a 20% chance to grow to the next stage each day. During spring, summer, fall, during winter, mushroom tree seed saplings do not grow and fully grown mushroom trees will be reduced to a stump. The following spring, the stump will regrow to a full tree. Like common trees, the stump may spread seeds to the surrounding area. If hit by lightning, a mushroom tree will be reduced to a stump, leaving mushrooms behind in the same way that common trees leaving wood and sap. <gasps> oh my god. While tappers will remain on stumps, they cannot be placed on stumps during the winter. Using a heavy tapper will not make the tapping faster. That is insanity. How did we get it? I just... I'm stumped! Ha, get it stumped. That's really cool though. I mean, like, that's extremely neat. I didn't know that could happen. What the heck? Very, very lucky. Wood and copper bars, okay. Wood. Copper bars. All right, let's make one. What? Mada, I don't have enough wood. Well, now I do. Now make me one, please. <laughs> I'm so excited, I'm too excited to tap this tree. All right, let's see. What do I need to put away? This is so crazy. I always wondered how people got those. Those mushroom trees. Now I know. We gotta tap this bad boy. I want only mushroom trees. A big mushroom tree force. Okay, maybe not only mushroom trees. That would be bad. Because then we don't have regular trees, and we need those. It must be a little more common in a forest farm just because of the sheer amount of trees that we have. Please be here, please be here. Thank you. Purchase. Ah, <gasps> chicken. Yatta. Goop. This one's name is Kiara. Because of course the, ch the first chicken's name has got to be Kiara. Kiara. I'll send little Kiara to her new home right away. They're so cheap. I'll just buy them all now. And then this one's name is Kiwawa. Kiwawa. Awesome. And then 
This one... This one's name is... Wawa. Great, and then... This one's name is... Gi... Wawa. All right, great. And then... Can I get another one? Nope. No more. No more room. All right, so we have four different... Four different chickens with very different personalities in the coop. They're all very different chickens. Not named or based on the same thing. Just very different personalities for different chickens. And I'm going to build a fence. Now let's see. Can you not do that? Thank you. Thank you. I kind of want the chickens to have that... That little, um... Pond there, you know? To kind of drink from, or you know, whatever. Yeah. Seems like a nice idea. Okay. Yeah. Well, I need to be inside of there, though. Stop moving. It's very loud. Yeah, if it disappears behind here, it looks more aesthetic, you know? And now we'll need a gate. Put it right there. Yeah. Nice. <gasps> Look at the babies. Oh, he went back inside because he was scared. He poked his... I'm sorry. She, she poked her little head out and then put it back in. Aw. Cute babies. Buck, 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 buck. Buck, 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 buck. Giwawa seems curious, but a little cautious. It's a strange new world. Cute. So cute. I am really tired of the gamepad disconnecting over and over again, so I might try to go leave and fix it really quick. And then come back at the end of this day. Maybe try and do like a Bluetooth thing instead. It'll take a little setup. I'll save this wood, waste not, want not. Oh my lord. Yeah, we definitely gotta, we gotta do the Bluetooth. If it will allow me to, but I don't know if it will allow me to. We'll see, we'll see. Put all the wood back. Hmm. All right, I'm going to bed. And then I'll go ahead and fix this. All right. How'd we do, though? I'm curious. Hmm, nice, 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 nice. Yeah, even a golden star eggplant can't really get over a hundred, huh? That's some nice gold star cheese, though. All right. Cool. All right, I'll be back in just, just a moment, you guys. BRB. <clears throat> um, ah, I'm back, and I just want to say, man, <laughs> I really tried. <laughs> God, I tried so hard. <laughs> I really did. Um, and I thought that I had it all worked out. Um, we can't keep, we can't keep doing this. 
Um, I found a video that was very helpful. Music's a little loud. I found a video that was very helpful. And it seemed like the guy was teaching me to do, like, all the right steps, and... Steam recognized the inputs. And... Then I opened Stardew Valley, and it did not recognize my controller uh, via Bluetooth. So I guess that's just our life now. Sorry. You're supposed to be here to chill. You're supposed to be here to take it easy. And yet here I am, making a big fuss over this wireless controller thing. I'm just going to have to buy a new one. Maybe not a new controller, but the different cables that I've been trying are all good. And they still um, don't work. So I wonder if it is the controller. I think I have another one that we can try out. I'm a little tilted, but if it gets if it gets really bad again, I'm gonna switch to it. It's just that it's downstairs with the PS5. I'm like, oh boy. I was just downstairs with the cats. They're gonna think that mommy came back to play with them. And then I'm gonna have to disappoint them again by disappearing again. Like a bad dad. <sighs> you know, screen's also a little weird right now. Hold on, let me... I wonder if that's any good. Um... Look at all these weird rando technical difficulties that popped up. That should be fine. That should be fine. Whoa, what are you trying to milk there, Morrison? Oh boy, did it disconnect? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> there's no way. Please, no, please, that's not the way I'm going! That's not- USB device not recognized. Oh my god. Alright, it's over. I- whoa, it's- it's lagging now. It's over. I'm, um... Ah. I'm going to switch controllers. I've had enough. I've had enough of this, this tomfoolery. I'm done with it. I'm completely over it, which is why I'm, I'm going to change it right now in just a minute. I'll do it. It's, it's a really addicting game, guys. It's, a, it's really, you lose yourself. Playing it. Playing this game. You really... <sighs> that's great. No, that's really wonderful. Awesome. That is not... Those are not the buttons that I pressed. I think now that I've connected it wirelessly, it's starting to act up even more. Like, it's super laggy inputs, I think is, is what it is. Let me disconnect it from the Bluetooth. Yeah, I got it into big picture mode and everything, and it was, it was working great. Oh, boy. Um, in the big picture mode, and then I took it out, and then it was not working here. Bluetooth. Remove the device, please. Yeah, my PC is generally really bad um, with Bluetooth for whatever reason. I see on here there's also a keyboard that I had that I'm no longer using because it, the lag was just, it was unfathomable. You would think that, okay, now the, um, the controller is not turning off. It's eternally on, as though it's been possessed by a ghost.
on this again. All good. Just gotta banish the ghosts. Defeat the evil. Oh, wait. We have to make cheese. Banish the ghosts. Defeat the evil. Make the cheese. Easy. Easy cheese. Ooh, indeed. Yeah, the cows definitely feel my pain. Oh man, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it! I'm gonna lose it! I'm going... I'm gonna go feral. It's like I have to choose the lesser of two evils. I have to choose. An Xbox 360 controller, old and clunky as shit, that has a sticking A button. Or this. I'm starting to think the Xbox 360 controller might be the way. But I'm gonna go downstairs and get the other freaking. I'm not, it's not that I'm lazy, it's that I'm really invested in this game right now. Oh, I'll go, I'll go. I'm gonna go. It's like that scene in Uncut Gems, right? Where Adam is, is watching the game and his wife comes in and she's like, Adam Sandler, because that's his name in the movie. She's like, Adam Sandler. Get up and tell your kid good night. And Adam Sandler's like, all right, all right. I just want to see this guy take a couple more shots. Booyah! And he gets all excited because somebody like gets a shot or something. And he's like, oh yeah, my money, right? And then he's like, okay, I'm going. And he like stands up and he doesn't leave, right? He stands up, he doesn't leave. And then he like turns to her and is like, I don't know what he says. He, it's something about the game. And then she screams at him and then he, he leaves. Because the scream really gives him a fright. Um, anyway. That was just a tangent to... For me to keep playing this game. The next time it disconnects, I'll go. Don't do that. Please don't yell at me like Adam Sandler's not wife from that movie. Please. I don't need that right now. I don't need it. I don't. I wonder how much wood and stone we have. Hmm. Maybe I should spend today collecting materials from the forest. Look at all these lovely trees growing back. Can't wait to chop them down when they're all grown. Don't tell them that though, Shh, it's our little secret. Wonder what kind of fish I could find fishing in this lake. Wonder if they'd be any different from the, the lakes in the mountains. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder. From here on out, it's going to become a very relaxing Stardew Valley stream, I promise. Very chill, very laid back. You'll see. You'll be so surprised, you'll be like, wow. No way. Mori's capable of these levels of chill? I've been seeing some comments like that recently too, like, wow, Mori, I can't believe that you're actually a chill person. And I'm like, well, okay. I'm not offended or anything, just... What? You think I'm a chill person? I don't know about that. Just from some Stardew streams. I think I definitely have a more low-key side. Maybe I am chill, but I decide when to be chill. I think that the way that I am when I play this game is like more how I am when I'm not on duty, you know, as a reaper. Sometimes even as a streamer. That might be it. It might be a slightly more 
real me. Eh, but don't think too hard about it. It's probably just... I'm probably just in my own head right now and rambling because we're cutting down trees and committing advanced deforestation, so I need something to talk about. You know? To keep my mind off of the crippling guilt that I have destroying all of these trees in the forest and not planting the seeds. I will plant them. But hey, look at this. This is a seed. A sapling, even. You see this red square? It means can't plant, Mori, you idiot. Can't plant. So, I kind of have to pick and choose... I mean, I'd love to just plant them randomly in the forest, but, you know, the wild trees are like, no, we decide our own path. We decide our own way, and I'm like, all right, I guess I'll plant you out here in the, the sand, and they're like, no, don't do that. There's a guy over there, that guy, Sam? He's a freaking monster, he's Godzilla. If he walks over this seed, he will destroy us. And I'm like, well, that's not my problem, because you're not letting me plant on the grass. I would love to plant on the grass, but look at him. If he walks over here, if he walks over your brethren, it's all over. You're dead. Because you wouldn't let me plant you in the grass. Really? Does that sound like my problem? I think that's gonna be a no, Chief. That's a no. No, but the trees, they don't care. They don't care, they don't listen. It's always about the trees. Always about the trees. We plant the trees, Mori, we plant the trees. Everybody's all about replant the trees. And that's how you should be, by the way. In the real world. But not in this game! In this game, I have things to do. Just the trees are making it hard for me, alright? I would love to just go ahead and drop a seed right there. Right there on the grass, but I can't. I can't because the trees, they say, no, you can't do it. I don't want to grow there. I don't want to grow there, the trees say. Oh, you know what? I bet the river fishing's good here. Crank. Pray for no disconnects. If we get a nice fish. Ooh. All right, this doesn't look like a jumpy boy. Okay, maybe it's a little bit of a jumpy boy. It's cool, it's cool. Ah, it's the same stuff that we find in the mountains. So what's the point? What's the prank? Hmm. Is it just chubs? Chub after chub after chub after chub? What is this, Happy Gilmore? His name is Chub, right? Please let his name be Chub. The guy without the hand, with the alligator. Yeah. Bream. We already caught that fish, so whoop-de-doo, I guess. Alright. I'm gonna go talk to Shane now, because I can't see you guys bullying me for, for talking to Shane. So I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go talk to him now. I'm gonna have to put up with, with your bullying. Yeah. How about that, Sam? Did you ever notice all the spider webs that appear during fall? If you get up early, you'll see them covered in dew, like little stars. That's like a really interesting thing for you to like pick up on. Wow. Sam is an artist after all. I'm sure he writes lyrics as well. For his, his band, his garage band, that has like three big fans then I'm definitely all three of them. I'm your fan. Hey. Oh wow, how'd you know this is my favorite? What do you want? Leave me alone. It sounds about right. See, but no, he still likes me. Hey. Are you friends with Clint? He's a nice guy if you get to know him. He gets lonely working in his shop all day, but he's, he, he's so shy he has trouble making new friends. Yeah, and he likes you. He's got a big old crush on you, so he's really gonna hate me in the other file. Business has been slow, you should upgrade your tools, I could use the cash. Alright, that's straightforward. Thank you for being honest, though. Yeah, maybe I'll drop by again. You know, it would be really nice. Here's a point of critique. Maybe you could crack open my ore, even when you're upgrading my stuff. Because when you don't do that, it makes me upset. 
I don't know. Maybe he doesn't care. He's not listening. He doesn't want the critique. That's fine. He didn't ask for it. He didn't ask for it. Hmm. Alrighty. Ah, wait. Fall crop. And now we just need yams, and after that, we're good to go. Alright, tomorrow is a Friday. Do not get distracted, Mori. You never know when, like, a duck egg or something like that is gonna show up in the cart. Large goat milk, large eggs. <coughs> you know, I bet with this amount of money we could upgrade the barn. Get a goat? I don't know. Something like that. Let's, take, let's, you know what, take a quick look at what else we need. On the bulletin board. Yeah, we haven't opened up any of these, but the wine is on the way. Ah, the pomegranate I ended up putting in the enchanter's bundle. That actually is a better idea. I'm glad we did that. Gonna need some apples. Dang it, that'll have to be next year. No way I can get apples without a tree. But maybe I should plant it real quick. I can I can afford a seed. Need that nautilus shell. We'll get it in winter. Fried eggs should be easy to make. Truffle, just need pigs. And then the maki roll is also easy to make. You just need any old fish, maki and rice. You can get the rice from Pierre, I believe. Maybe I'll use this bream over here. That could work. Hmm. I wonder how I can get sheep. What kind of big, big barn I'll need. Dun, 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 dun. Gonna need to upgrade it. No problem, easy. Maybe we can put one of the chubs in there. Ha ha ha. It's a really nice bream, I don't know. These guys are better though. All right, sell those bad boys. Do what you must. Do. I promised. I promised. There's a disconnect. There's. That's actually really a lot of sap, so give me that really quick. Alright, I will make the fertilizer. Alright, I did it. Let me just. Stones. I know I really should. I'm going to sleep, and then when I wake up, we can get the new controller. When I wake... Okay, I'm going.
Okay, if you could tell by Windows, I've activated it. Let's see if it works or not. Come to life. Come alive now. It should be connected. Do you not recognize your brethren? Bibi? Bibi? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Okay. I think we're good. The day is saved. The day is saved. Maybe. Oh, and now the sound is off. Okay. Well, I mean, that's a good sign, right? It means it really likes the control. I have a backup. You will move. The rectangle. Closer now. I just want to play a game. I just want to play a video game. I just want to play a video game. Please. Please. <sighs> ah, the sound. Still an issue, of course. Because for whatever reason, every time I plug in the controller, <laughs> That's weird. So is it just Stardew? Oh boy, I have to reopen the game. Okay, okay, no, that's fine. That's fine, I'm gonna keep all this in. Oh, level eight foraging, nice. I'm keeping it all in, I don't care. I'm a thug, I don't care!
I now have to restart my computer.